I said I was going to record this on Monday. But this past January, it's now Wednesday, at least two days ago. And the second part of the full interview with CBS This Morning's Gail Kane, a 22-year-old woman, had been uh, caught on camera recently for, you know, beating up a 14-year-old a 14-year-old black teen. And she did that because she falsely accused him of stealing her phone. And if you checked the first video I made about the Soho Karen, Mia Ponsetto, I basically call her out on her fucking bullshit because of the fact that she she thought that the teenage black black boy stole his phone when he and his father were only minding minding their own business and uh, you know and then comes her attacking and in the interview from earlier she told Gail King enough I think this is where it continues so I'm going to play the entire clip of its entirety right about now this morning we are sharing more of our exclusive interview with a woman whose confrontation with a black teenager in a New York hotel was caught on camera over the holidays. Cell phone video shows Mia Ponsetto accusing 14-year-old Keon Harold Jr. of stealing her iPhone last month. Ponsetto was arraigned over the weekend and freed on supervised release. She is charged with attempted robbery, attempted grand larceny, endangering the welfare of a child, and attempted assault. We spoke with Ponsetto and her attorney, that Sharon Gatan, just hours before her arrest last week. This morning, we begin where we left off on Friday. You seem to have attacked this teenager about the phone, and then it turned out he didn't even have your phone. Okay, so that's the thing. I mean, you're saying, look, I'm 22 years old. You're 22 years old, but you are old enough to know better. Oh, the hotel did have my phone. I get it. Enough. The hotel did have my phone. The hotel did end up having my phone. I did get my belongings returned to me, so maybe. It wasn't him, but at the same time, how is it so that uh, as soon as I get asked to leave the premises, uh, after I had accused this person of stealing my phone? I don't know. Maybe do you have any fucking evidence? Do you? Probably not. Because when this interview aired afterwards, you were arrested. that all of a sudden they just miraculously have my phone when I come back and the two and uh, the the it didn't seem as if uh, my accusations really bothered the the son and the father because they were just uh, enjoying a nice meal right after us this whole uh, encounter but all I'm saying I don't know if you I, mean, I, I don't know to be if you over say what, and I'm sorry whether they were so I would love to your, make this short and sweet Gail Mia Mia I want to go back to that Mia stop Stop trying to get out of this so quickly. Day, take us back to that day. We've all seen the video. Okay, so um, I arrived back to the hotel after grabbing some Starbucks. I had noticed my phone had been missing, so I just approached the hotel manager, asked him if he could kindly just check the footage. In my opinion, I was like, okay, any person walking down could possibly be the person that might have had my phone. I wasn't racial profiling whatsoever. I'm a woman, I'm Puerto Rican, I'm like a woman of color. I'm I'm Italian, Greek, Puerto Rican. You keep saying you're Puerto Rican. Does that mean that you can't be racist because you're saying you're a woman of color? Is that what you mean? Exactly. Well, I, I would disagree that people of color can be racist too. Do you believe that you should pay a price for this? I don't feel that 
my accusation is a is a is a crime, but it's more. Hi. I agree that some people of color can be racist, and if Nia Ponzo claims to be a person of color herself, then it still implies that she is racist for hitting a young black teenage boy. It's more than the accusation, it's the way that you tackled him, it seems, on the videotape. What would you do differently? You said that you look at that tape and that's not who you are. I think I could have just asked the hotel manager. So yes, I could have stepped aside, or the father and I, we, we immediately could have uh, started just speaking at a lower tone and probably that would have handled the whole situation a lot better. With all due respect, when Mr. Harold was talking to you, it seemed to me that he was responding to you because you had accused his son. I'm saying that both of us, I said that both of us. You are losing to black people? No, I'm not letting you walk away with my phone. The bottom line is this issue is much bigger than um, I think Nia is appreciating and she, she sees it as a very simple thing. Attorney Sharon Gatan sat with Ponsetto through the entire interview and wanted her client to feel empowered to tell her own story. But Gatan also felt it important to provide context on Ponsetto's state of mind at the time of the incident. So let me just boil it down. She was a 22 year old woman alone in New York. No one is with her. Her entire contacts, flight arrangements, Wi Fi, emails, Apple Pay, her funds, her money, it's all on that phone. She agreed that her behavior and her actions were definitely less than elegant, shall we say, and less than graceful yeah, and yeah. less than what anyone else would do. And she agreed and she wouldn't have repeated it. It's been reported that your phone was returned to you by an Uber driver. Is that true? That is not true because I arrived at the hotel with my phone in my hand. Okay, who returned your phone to you? The uh, hotel uh, receptionist. Mia, where had the phone been? Why don't we ask the hotel receptionist? Mia, to be honest, I'm telling you, you seem to be not remorseful, to have no contrition, that you're always yes. a little flippant about this. You yes. have to understand, for this teenage boy who says that he was shattered, who said that he was traumatized, this I'm is a traumatized. You're traumatized too because. Yeah, and I'm sorry. I have, I have, I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. He is honestly. He, he for you're traumatized, you're traumatized too because, and then you go with, I'm sorry too. Come on, finish the sentence. That's what they're, that's what they're claiming. Um, yeah, I'm 22. I've, I've lived probably just the same amount of life as him. Like, honestly. I'm just as a kid at heart as he is. I feel sorry that I made the family go through like all that stress, but at the same time, it wasn't just them going through that. I just don't think that you helped yourself by your behavior. Of when course you not. looked at that video, what did you think? What did you think, Mia? You already you asked me that. Video? You already asked me that. Because you didn't answer it the correct way, Mia. Time to elaborate. Like to, I would like to have a real interview with real questions and real heart and real sincere apologies. <sighs> now you're just begging for, for, now you're just begging for forgiveness. No one is going to forgive you after what you did to that boy. And it's pretty clear that it is stated that this boy, this 14-year-old boy that you attacked, did not at all take your phone. And the fact that the hotel receptionist brought you back your phone says a lot about your fucking mistakes. What you did is really irrehensible, and you, thankfully, are punished after this interview here. Let 2021 be the moment of healing. Seriously. All right, all right. What, what would you, you want an interview with real questions? What would you, what, I'll give you the four. What would you like us to know, Mia? That I'm sincerely sorry to the family, 
um, and the dad and the son for making them feel as if I was uh, racist towards them when that is not my intention. Now, during the interview, Ponsetto kept interrupting her attorney and Gatan, Sharon Gatan says her client went off script. According to her lawyer, Ponsetto was prepared for this interview. They had talked about it, they had gone over it. But the 22-year-old, she says, decided to disregard her advice she was given and just went on her own. Neil Pond said it was due back in court in March. I, I really felt for the attorney. We cut out a lot of it because I think you already get a sense no. of, of Neil Pond said, oh, but there was a, big, a there was a very uh, interesting exchange between the attorney and Mia at one point, and we just we, we just decided just to let it go. But the attorney says, look, she's concerned about her mental health and her well-being, and she of course wishes her well. And I could see why she is concerned. The uh, attorney worked very very hard to try to guide her, her client during the interview and it just, you know, I think it's hard when you have a client that doesn't pay attention to what yes, you're saying. Yes, I think that's yeah. very difficult. It's, it's difficult to sit there in silence while your client essentially gets herself in trouble and judging by the backlash over the weekend for the first part of your yeah. of your interview, it was not received well. Yeah, I'm not no. sure if she, Mia really understands the gravity of the situation yet. I'm still not no, sure. Once she was arrested, I think she's she probably can but we're in the keep shoveling, the yeah. whole yeah. getting deeper yeah. stage of things still here. Yeah. Do you see why the word justice exists? The word justice exists because, well, think about it. If you do a crime, then you must do the time. And this 22-year-old idiot woman who acts like a kid but is an adult is now charged. So I'm going to probably read some, some of the details. New York City Police said Mia Ponsetto was charged Saturday in Manhattan with attempted robbery, grand larceny, acting in a manner injurious to a ch child and two counts of attempted assault. Assault. And you know what? And that's kind of why I really think that she deserved prison time. I don't know how long she's going to be in there. I just don't want to ruin this for, for myself or any of us to know that justice is served. I don't care if she's in there for a year. I don't care if she's in there for five years. This 22-year-old California woman, Mia Pancero, also known as Soho Karen, should have learned a thing or two before hitting a child. A black child. And then she proceeds to pull the race card earlier in that interview, which I don't like at all. And the reason she did that is to have everyone beg for her, is to beg everyone for her forgiveness. And you know what? I'm not going to take her apology. I'm not going to forgive her. She went viral because of Twitter, thanks to the story from CBS this morning. She went viral because of her actions. The actions that she caused is much louder 
than the words that she has told in the interview. And the fact that she would try to get sympathy points is kind of fucking weak. And that's something I am against. People who beg for forgiveness after what they done, which is so cruel and inhumane, they really ought to be put in their fucking place. And I am glad the NYPD put Mia Ponsetto, aka Soho Karen, in her place. I am glad. Because people like her should not get away with it for sympathy points. I will not accept your apology if you aren't really sincere about what you did was wrong. This should be a lesson to you. Don't ever fucking touch a child over a phone that you left at the hotel. Fucking dumbass. Glad you're in jail. <laughs>